Hey, this is Anthony Traverso. We'll see what you can watch. Decide and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Icon Alliance GT helmet available at RevZilla.com. I've seen an alliance before from Icon. What does the GT mean? Boom. If you played Halo, now you're Master Chief. This is the first in what I would consider to be an entry level price from Icon using a drop down sun visor technology. I actually dig the way they went. There are a handful of colors and solids available. Each one's gonna come with its own colored drop down sun visor. And if we look at it, that is your big move here. We have the Icon Alliance Dark, which is basically this helmet without the drop down. And I always say, for where that's priced, which is in the mid 100s, that is a phenomenal sport oriented everyday helmet for you to have in your passenger, stick it in the back seat of your car, it can be banged around, and it's not gonna break the bank. Now what they've done with the Alliance GT, and again, this is the Rubitone, is you're able to, for another about 50 bucks, have the drop down sun visor, which allows you to not have to carry that smoke shield. And what's really cool about it is instead of just going with dark smoke, and they did that on the primary graphic, each one of the different graphic treatments, this guy comes with gold iridium, which is very, very cool. And you can see in that reflection there. Drop down, great coverage, smooth action. I will call out though, that before we get into the rest of the details, because they had to reshape this side pod and how it worked with the side actuator for the drop down, what they're doing is it's a different Icon Pro Shield. So there's, if you have an alliance, Pro Shield at home, it's not gonna fit the Alliance GT Pro Shield, so keep that in mind. Now let's talk about fit, because fit's really important on the Icon Alliance. It is long oval. Long oval is an outlier fit within the helmet market. Most helmets are shipped for my head, which is intermediate oval. Long oval is a little bit narrower front to back, so a little bit thinner. I would fit, but it wouldn't be a perfect fit for me. If you're one of those guys that's long and narrow, this is a great fit. Keep that in mind, but you need to take that into consideration. Round, no way. Intermediate oval, depends on how intermediate you are. Long oval, like we see from an Arai Signet Q, or some of the other helmets that are traditionally long oval, that's gonna be where you're playing here with the Alliance GT. Now remember, use the size chart, keep in mind we'll ship for free over 39 bucks, and I'd love it if you click our logo, subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, leave me your comments, your questions, your feedback. I'd actually love to hear how excited you are about the fact that now you have a fully functioning, multi-season, versatile, great commuter helmet here, still around that $200 mark with the drop-down sun visor here in the GT. Now. Look at some of the external features, let's work our way in. Remember, this is a polycarb helmet. That's how they keep the price where it is. DOT, ECE rated, world standard certified. Again, three pounds, 10 ounces. Now, I consider any helmet that's going to be under three and a half pounds to be light. Closer to three pounds, super light. This guy's three pounds, 10 ounces. It's not four pounds. So just over that kind of midpoint on what I would consider a light helmet. But again, polycarb, that's part of the trade-off when you invest at this level. And they have added a complete new function here with a drop down. We think that adds about a, a, an ounce, ounce and a half. We're not scared of it. When we think about some of the other materials here, again, this is a Rubitone finish. All of the helmets won't have that matte or rubberized finish. Basic vent actuation. So you have your chin vent down here below. Again, this is a helmet that's battle tested in my opinion it's been around forever we have now our GT style pro shield with the side pods that match creates a good seal again I don't necessarily love that pin device here that lock but I'm glad that they have a lock period sometimes this one's not the easiest one to use there we go as you move up they forego the brow vent here and remember looking at the armada or the armada which is just a little step up from this if you're looking at something that's sportier more all-encompassing a little bit lighter more of a snug fit Different profile on that helmet. Check out the Aramata, make sure you check that out. And if we look at the basic vent scheme here on the Alliance, tried and true, it's been the same. It's gonna start with these big horseshoe vents that go back. Actuator on top for open and close. Extractor down here covered up. I always remember, think of Total Recall whenever I see these for some reason. Old school 80s movie, not the terrible new one they did. And if we look at it, you're gonna have an extraction. Remember, the air coming across the top, over top that vent, it's gonna extract warm, moist air out. You have your winglets here along the side. And I almost ne neglected to mention, you do have some winglets down here, or some baby vents that are gonna aid in that passive extraction of airflow. But along the front, these two wings right here, you do have an actuator on the inside of the helmet. It's hard, very hard to see. When I pull the guts out, I'll be able to show it to you where you can open and close them. Now, if I grab my donut, flip this guy on my side. Here we go. This is the Hydrodry lining from Icon. We've seen the Hydrodry used in a lot of spots. I will call out that this Hydrodry lining has not changed in about five years, and it is one of the better performing, more all-encompassing, most comfortable liners that we've seen. Wicking, antimicrobial, and it's actually the density of the foam they use, coupled with the fact that this is a really, really soft microfiber. It's almost silky smooth against your skin. The Hydrodry is one of our favorite liners that we've seen on the market, and see how it has a nice pre-curve, and it is incorporated with a neck roll here on the Alliance GT. Again, no surprises there, but I 
for, people don't realize how much we like that liner, or how well it performs. Now, if I pull the rest of it out here, you can see me, oh, the struggle is real. There we go. Pulling the other side out, again, it's finished. You know, it's one of those things where what does the bottom of your furniture or the back side look like? I actually give Icon a lot of credit. They think about the details. It says Icon just in the back plastic piece, keeping everything together. Subtleties. If we move into the inside of the helmet, I'm going to pull my comfort liner. Brow connection points, so no, so no pressure points along the forehead. Notice the mesh over top of the area down the center line here on our comfort liner. More hydro dry and the way that it's done in 3D fashion around the, around the top and around the sides, around the crown of the head, all in. It's a rock and solid liner for you know under that $200 mark. And if we look at the interior guts of this helmet, open it up one more time, put this drop down sun visor back up, you're gonna see how, how everything plays in the inside. If I had a gripe, I wanna see a speaker cut away. These days, people are putting communication units on their helmets. It's great that you have the cutaways along the top. It's great that you have big airflow channels along the top. But a comm unit without a speaker cutout, it might, especially on a narrow shaped helmet, you might start to feel that. It really depends on what you're going for. So just know that, keep that in mind if you're thinking about a comm unit when you're walking into the Alliance GT. Now, the next step in your journey is click the info button on your mobile or your desktop device. Visit the product detail page at RevZilla.com and read other rider reviews. You shouldn't just take my word for it on the new Icon Alliance GT. See what they're saying. Remember, we'll ship for free over 39 bucks. If you want to talk to a gear geek, you can't call me, but see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. One of our hardcore riders on staff will take care of you and help you understand the ins and outs of the Alliance GT. As always, Subscribe to us at RevZilla TV, our YouTube channel. Stay up to date with the latest gear reviews on parts, gear, and accessories in the best of the moto world. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.